Okay, now let's look at the double net technique itself. Now we have two different ways of making a double net stitch. One is twisted and the other is not twisted. Now, if you look at this fabric, you'll probably recognize this as a regular knitted fabric, which is of course reversible. But this is the way I favor creating my stitches. You'll notice that the stitches are actually twisted. The reason that I do this is because if you pull on the fabric, the individual pixels move, but they don't split in half, which is not the case for quote-unquote regular knitting. However, I am going to do this tutorial in uh, non-twisted knitting first, and then I will show you how I achieve twisted stitches. So as you can see, on the needle right now, we have pairs of stitches. Each one is white and then blue, when the color on the front is white, and blue and then white, when the color on the front is blue. This is how the color changing occurs. So, in order to start double knitting, we are obviously uh, well into a project here, you want to keep both of your yarns on the back side for the first stitch. Now I hold them in my left hand. You may have a different way of doing this that may work better for you, but this is how I do it. You're going to hold them both in the back, and you're going to make a knit stitch with the white. I give it a little tug to tighten it, and you bring both yarns to the front, and you do a purl stitch with the blue. That creates one white stitch on the front, one blue stitch on the back, without having the yarns cross or twist or get in the way of each other otherwise. I'll do that twice more before I get up to a color change. So now the next three stitches, the next three pairs, are color changed, and we're going to continue the color change in this row. And all you do is you bring both yarns to the back. This time you knit with the blue one. Bring both yarns to the front, purl with the white one. You continue doing this. And then, when you bring both your yarns to the back, you're going to change back to the background color. You're going to knit with the white, both yarns in back, and bring both yarns to the front, purl with the blue. Now let's look at the twisting of the stitches. This is an option. You do not have to twist your stitches. I find that in many cases it looks better in double knitting, but you may not completely agree. You may also find that this is more trouble for you than it's worth. But I like the way it looks, and it feels natural to me. Notice that when I insert my needle in to the knit stitch, it goes in the same way it goes in for any knit stitch. If I want it not to be twisted, I take my white strand and I wrap it away from me. And again, the purl stitch goes in the same way it goes in for any purl stitch, and I take the yarn and I wrap it away from me. 
Now if I wanted to twist that stitch, we'll do that for the next stitch, or the next pair, I'm still inserting it the same way I normally would have, except that instead of wrapping it away from me, I'm wrapping it toward me. And then the same goes for the purl stitch. Now you can't see the twisting of the stitch yet because it will be apparent only when you knit into this stitch on the next round. But if you look closely, you can see that the two stitches do bend in opposite directions, and this creates the twist.